Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We're back here again with the hottest royalty straight out of the Peninsula Palace gate this week. And let me tell you, this latest scandal surrounding Prince Harebrain's shameless clout chasing has absolutely set the internet ablaze with fresh outrage like few events before it. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, are the reports true that Buckingham Palace is absolutely furious? We're talking bright crimson coronation robe levels of pissed over Harry's pathetic attempt to don his old military regalia and accolades for a meaningless publicity video. If so, I gotta say I'm fully on team strip that loser of his badges and ribbons on this one. At this point, it's an insult to everyone who actually earned their decorations through honor and sacrifice. For real. How many times are we going to let this ginger goober metaphorically spit all over the customs and institutions that were literally his sole purpose for existing in the first place? Frankly, it's almost like Harry gets off on disrespecting the very idea of the monarchy at this point. I wouldn't be shocked if he started putting out diss tracks, bragging about all the royal toddlers he'd soiled back in his Fardian boyhood days next. But I'm getting ahead of myself a bit. Let's rewind to earlier this week when the freshly humiliated Duke decided to pop his balding head up from whatever overpriced Nazi chic hostels he's slumming in these days to put a cameo for some dopey US military care package photo shoot. Not necessarily an awful idea on paper, I suppose. Harry's got obvious military bona fides. So having him present some random award could theoretically make sense from a publicity standpoint. That is, at least until he decided to throw a full Boy Scout regalia getup complete with combat jack badges, operational ribbons, jubilee medallions, and lord knows what other sacred military fruit salad trimmings he dug out of the Hancock Park Buffalo Exchange bargain bin. The sheer unearned arrogance of this disgraced leech making a public performance out of stolen accolades he willingly abdicated is just... woof. I don't have words for it sometimes as if mooching off his unearned prince privileges for a decade of forced charity tours and plaque unveilings wasn't insulting enough, now we've reached the stage where this desperate hybrid between Danny Masterson and Bert from Sesame Street is openly tarnishing the sacred symbology that soldiers fight, bleed, and routinely die upholding the honor of... No wonder, Buckingham Palace is rumored to be in a spiral over this stunt. At this point, the House of Windsor should just revoke these meaningless decorations for conduct unbecoming, you know? If some schmuck army veteran pawned their purple hearts or bronze stars for stripper money, you'd better believe that brass would waste no time symbolically annulling the sanctity of the awards. So why not extend that same punitive slap in the face to this disrespectful twit for once? And spare me the inevitable, but he earned those in Afghanistan war zone. Rebuttal from you Rachel Dolezal stands out there. Yes, while I always honor and respect Prince Harry's legitimate service record, the fact remains that he explicitly chose to renounce his military ties the second he waddled off to Arden Hills, hand in hand with his talentless Duchess Handler. To turn around and start publicly cosplaying a soldier boy glory hog while he and the missus continue waging their never-ending defamation campaign against the same crown Harry once claimed to serve so valiantly. No, sorry. Those are the actions of someone so pathetically thirsty for clout that they'll gleefully torch the entire institution that granted them status in the first place just to maintain a few more micro-silvers of relevance. Mark my words, folks. If they gave out purple frame whore medals for this level of indecent public abasement, the traitor prince has more than earned one by now. So what do you think about this, guys? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.